Hello and welcome to Akshu's Kitchen. Today we will see how to prepare caramel custard for which we will need the following ingredients to prepare approximately 4 caramel custards, 85 grams of caster sugar or the normal sugar, 2 eggs, 250 ml of milk either the normal milk or evaporated milk, 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence, 60 grams of full cream milk powder and for preparing the caramel another 55 grams of caster sugar or regular sugar first to prepare the caramel i am going to cook the sugar on a pan with 1 tablespoon of water use minimal water to get the caramel quickly so we are going to cook this until we get brown color nice caramel thick caramel so first let it dissolve in the water and it will start boiling so you have to until it comes to a brown color caramel so after a minute it has started to attain light golden color so if you continue and if you continue this for another minute you will have light brown color coming out and in another minute you will have good dark brown color caramel so the caramel is now ready switch off the stove and i am going to pour this into four prepared ramkins divide it equally into four ramkins you will have to act fast or else the caramel will start to solidify the bottom of the ramkins and keep it aside to set for 10 minutes next boil the milk in a pan and also add the 85 grams of sugar to it and let it come to a boil once it comes to a boil immediately switch off the stove and allow it to cool down once it has cooled down we have to add this to the egg mixture you should not add it when it is warm as it will cuddle the eggs next when it is getting cooled i am going to break the two eggs in a bowl and i am going to whisk it together with one teaspoon of vanilla essence so use the whisker attachment do not use the beater attachment also you have to whisk it only at low speed if you whisk it at high speed you will get much of froth at the top so whisk it at low speed for a minute or two and then i am going to add the warm milk to this you can see it is still a little warm so i am going to add little by little if it is completely cooled down you can add all at a time but since it is a little warm you have to be careful and you have to add little by little so that the eggs does not curdle up and once when all the milk is used up whisk it for a minute or two at medium speed and now the milk and eggs are all combined well at this stage i am going to add the 60 grams of full cream milk powder and again mix them all together at medium speed for a minute and now the egg mixture is ready this full cream milk powder gives some extra flavor and thickness to the custard and now the egg mixture or the custard mixture is ready here you can see the white strands created over there so to smoothen this texture i am going to run it through a sieve to get rid of all the egg white strands so that you get a smooth and clean mixture and now i am going to pour this mixture into the already prepared caramel ravioli and it is all set ready to get into the oven so i am going to cook the custards today in both the oven stove top method so in the oven method i am going to place two of them in a microwave oven proof dish and i am going to prepare a water bed by adding hot water to the dish take care that you fill only until half of the ramkin is immersed and then i am going to completely cover this with aluminium foil i am doing this in order to prevent the top layer of the custard getting much dried up and i am going to put it in a preheated oven and cook it for 40 minutes at 210 degrees celsius and now caramel custard is ready you can see it is very soft allow it to cool down before serving and next for the stout top method i am going to cover the ramkins individually with aluminium foil and then i am going to put these two ramkins into a pan with boiling water on the stove so take care you do not overfill the water just add a cup of water so that only half of the ramkin is immersed and put it on the lowest possible heat setting 
and cover it with the lid and cook for 20 to 25 minutes you will have to check it periodically if the water has dried up and refill it if necessary and now custard from the stout top method is also ready you have to put this in the fridge for about 4 to 5 hours before serving if you are going to serve for lunch then you can prepare it the previous day night and you, have, you can store it overnight in the refrigerator and when it is well set you can serve it so to serve scrape the edges of the custard with a knife like this and then put a plate on top of the custard and invert it and tap it a little and your custard is ready it is a very easy and delicious dessert try it and you will really like it thank you for watching akshu's kitchen